Okay, class. So in this uh, part here, I'm going to show you how to draw ellipse and how to draw certain polygon. Okay, so let's start with ellipse first. So in ellipse, what you need to know is there is what you need to know is there is things what we call as major major exists all right so you have major exists and minor exists so i don't want to to talk about the theory so i'm just going to straight away show you an example let's say your major exists it has um, it has let's say how much we have let's say nine Let's say your major, major exist is 90 and your minor exist is 60. Okay, mm lah. All right. So we're just going to stick with mm. So if I see 90, so it means 90 mm. 60, 60 mm. Okay. So ellipse, how it looks like, how it will look like. So ellipse is like this. Or it can be like this. <laughs> Sorry. It's quite difficult to draw as vertical. This is horizontal and that, that one is horizontal. Now this is... Alright. That's how bad is my hand drawing. Okay. I, I think... I hope you understand. <laughs> Alright. Okay. So that is what we have. Ellipse. Vertical ellipse. And this is horizontal ellipse. So if I draw... A line here and a line here and this is your minor oh it detects and this would be my major okay so in this case oh I, I know why because my mouse and this one as well, because it's vertical, therefore this distance here is your major. And the other one here to here is your minor. Basically, if when uh, when I teach students, students will say lebar dia. Lebar dia ialah minor. Lebar dia minor. Panjang dia major. Ah. Ataupun the one with much longer one, longer one is the major and the shorter one is the minor. And that's the way you know which one is major and minor. So if I say the major exists 90, therefore this whole thing here from top to bottom is 90. And the major exists, okay, from here to here is 60. The same goes here. This is 60 and this will be 90. Okay, so I hope you can recognize between major and minor even though my drawing or my handwriting is not that good all right again i uh, i really sorry i apologize for the, the 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 what we call the drawback okay kelemahan tu because really i have to teach using software so it's quite difficult i hope you can cope with with that and pardon me for that okay so uh, we're going to do this really Okay, really do it, doing this. So I'm going to share you a few tips for you so that you know you're going to be good at drawing ellipse. Alright, so first of all, you're going to draw circle. So if the major axis is 90, so you're going to you're going to take this as your diameter, diameter of your circle. Right? So you can just use your uh, compasses. Okay, you can just take okay, the diameter. Right. Okay, I'm gonna bring it a bit here. Right. So 90. But this one is your diameter. Okay, if you use compass, you need to know the radius, the chichari of the the, the 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 circle. So instead of 90, I'm going to take so I'm going to take 45 mm instead for our first for our major exists right our major exists 
So I'm gonna use magic this. Alright. So let's say this is our point here. So I'm going to mark there. Let's mark that point. Let's mark this point here. Alright. And then uh, let's get back to our drawing. So yeah, then com draw your complete circle with 45 mm. That is your for your major axis from 90. We're going. To, this is your diameter. Then therefore we're going to use radius 45. And then minor axis, which is 60 mm diameter. Therefore we're going to use 30 mm radius. Right. And I hope, okay, hope. I wouldn't be so accurate, but that's enough. So by using the same point, okay, draw your minor axis, your minor semicircle axis. Okay, so having done that, use your ruler and just complete circle, just draw a complete. Okay. Uh, vertical line there and then your horizontal line there okay all right then now we want to make a 30 degree angle so we want to divide this to a few things so you can just look how i'm going to use to do that so bring your ruler so i'm i'm not going to use this ruler i'm going to bring another ruler Right, so let's start with 30 degree. All right, again, class, I'm using a software, so I don't have the set square 30 degree. But you do have the set square with 30 degree uh, angle. So you can just use that by using your T square and help you uh, angle your set square 30 degree. Okay, all right. So bring it here. I think that's it. I'm going to use a bit of different color. I'm going to use green color. Okay. And just make a line. Okay. Simple as that. Straight from up to down here. Okay. And then we're going to do the other side as well. This one, this time is, this one is 30 and then the other side will be 60. So basically 30 plus 30. Right. Then I'm going to use, go down a little bit. And that would be, let's bring 60, that's 61, 60, yeah. So quite, quite close. Okay, I couldn't get to, okay, that quite nice. So yeah, and then just draw your line there. Okay, and do the same for the other side as well. Okay, so this one going to be, I think it's going to be 120. So bring that. Okay, 120. But for, for you, just you're just going to have to use your set square. Bring your, uh, if you notice, the, the shape here. You notice? That will be like your shape of your ruler, your set square. Okay, you bring that there. Okay, and then just going to draw it. Okay, and then the other one, last one. That would be 150. Yep. Oh. I'll try to grab it. And voila. Now I have my almost complete <laughs> ellipse. Okay, now I want you to know. I want you to see this now. Although, and when I say, when I say that, uh, when I say that we have to draw major axis and minor axis circle, okay, now, from now on, that is when you draw the circle. But after you already draw a circle and you draw, after you have drawn your, your, your line here, 30 degree ang uh, angle lines and 60 degree and so on, you have cut this into several parts. Okay, what I want you to do now I want you to call this uh, circle with small circle and big circle. So I want you to identify small circle and big circle. So every time you're going to have small circle, big circle, and that's it. So at small circle, 
I want you to really pay attention on small circle. Small circle is our our reference. So, kalau if you want to make a okay, so let's put a note there. Uh, can we have a note? Hmm, maybe here. Just gonna put there. Okay, so. If you have a ellipse yang menegak, ellipse yang menegak, okay, ellipse tegak. I don't know how I spell. Is it correct or not? Ellipse tegak. Then garis tegak. Okay, ingat je ni. Dan kalau ellipse um, melintang. Therefore, garis melintang. Okay, okay. I hope I don't that I get this wrong, but we're gonna try it. Okay. So kalau ellipse tegak, garis tegak. Maknanya apa? Kalau ellipse kita tegak, garis tegak. Okay. Alright. But before we move more further, much further, tolong highlightkan. Okay. Katakan sekarang saya nak lukis ellipse tegak. Eh. So ellipse tegak macam mana bentuk dia macam ni? Okay, so ellipse tegak, make sure you tandakan. So this is your point of end. And this one as well. Tandakan dulu. And then your, ingat saya kata tadi, minor will be your, the minor will be your uh, width. Lebar, lebar awak minor. So ini uh, yang major. So minor yang lebar awak. So sini lebar awak. So you can see kita ada dah hujung-hujung lebar-lebar. Panjang-panjang lebar-lebar. So kawan kat mana kita nak bengkokkan dia? Alright. So, ellipse tegak, garis tegak. Maksud dia, okay, always refer to bulatan kecil. Okay, always refer to bulatan kecil. Tengok bulatan kecil. Then, we have this line here, this, all these lines, intersect with the bulatan kecil ni, with the small circle. Betul tak? Ada intersect. Alright. Okay. So, yang intersect sini, awak buat garisan tegak. Guna your baris awak, ataupun dengan bantuan set square, beringkan here. Okay. Boleh tak saya dapat? Yang accurate sikit. So, somehow my ruler is not that accurate. So, tapi okay, jadilah. Yang ni saya akan gunakan pen biru supaya awak nampak. Okay. So, buat je guys tegak. Yang mid this one. So, agak lebih sikit. Okay, I think saya kena buat ke atas. Okay, saya kena betul balik. So, buat ke atas. Tegak ke atas. Do that for the whole intersection. Ke atas. Ya, dekat bulatan kecil eh. Ini ke bawah lah. Do for the rest. Or the other side as well. Okay, saya mungkin tak accurate eh. So, pardon me. Saya nak, tak nak lama-lama sangat. I don't want to, to pay much attention on that. So, but you know the method. But when you are using your hand drawing, it would be very much faster and easier. And much more accurate. And this is going to software. So software ni dia ada kekangan sikit. Okay. Alright. And then, bulatan kecil garis tegak. Kalau ellipse tegak. Kalau ellipse melintang, so bulatan kecil ni awak guna melintang lah. Nanti saya akan tunjukkan. So ini saya buat tegak dulu. Okay. Now, selesai bulatan kecil, therefore bulatan besar pula. Bulatan besar, kalau dia ellipse tegak, bulatan besar buat dia melintang. Okay. Melintang. So, macam melintang? So, ambil your ruler. Tengok bulatan besar eh. Tengok bulatan besar. Okay. You buat garisan melintang. So, bulatan besar intersect dengan line yang kita buat banyak-banyak ni. We have make all these uh, 30 degree and 60 degree lines. Yang intersect yang intersect dengan uh, our our big circle lines. Buatkan garisan melintang. So, saya akan gunakan juga saya nak bezakan. Saya, I want to be, I want to differentiate. Saya guna bukan Warna blue this one. Uh, Tokus. Turquoise. Turquoise. So, sambung sini. Sampai kena yang intersection sini. Dan sampai kena sini. Okay, sampai kena eh. Sampai dua-dua ni kena. Okay. And do that the same as at this side as well. Okay, make sure the intersection towards the, the garisan tegak tu. And the same goes here. Okay. 
really pay attention where I where I take where I took. Okay, that's too that's too further away. No want to, to make too further. Okay, alright. Intersect that. So melintang eh, ellipse tegak melintang untuk bulatan besar. Now kita ada semua intersection. Kita ada semua we have all the intersection. Okay. So ini kita ada yang hujung, yang hujung minor, minor and then major. Okay. Now all this okay tengok kita dah buat we have create these two lines here. So this intersection kita tandakan, labelkan. 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 And this is that one. This one. And then the other side here. This side here. Eh sorry. Yang bawah saya dah salah dah. This one eh, yang ini yang ini. All right. Pardon me. Uh, too much lines that's why we are sometimes kita terlepas pandang. Kalau notice, and then you use your French curve. Okay, but I don't have my French curve. Do I have it? I don't think so. Alright. So, I don't have any French curve. But what you can do is you have to draw. Okay, but drawing. Okay, kalau saya buat drawing sini. So, you just connect this by using French curve. Untuk createkan satu ellipse yang agak cantik. Ini agak pointy what? But it's not too pointy eh. Ellipse tak pointy eh. Saya buat pikir sikit. Not, don't try to make it too pointy but if you use your French curve then it will look very very nice okay so alright so I'm just gonna try just that what I'm talking about so I think you get the idea okay and the other one as well okay yeah, this one is much better alright that not, not not really good okay not really my best uh, hand drawing but you can see but do not use your free hand must use French curve or anything that can help you. But if you want to use your just by hand free hands, make sure it's quite accurate and make sure it's thick. Okay, the line should be thick. Tebal eh macam ni. Pekat nampak. Okay, out. For your drawing, don't, don't, uh, for your uh, warna hijau ni yang saya buat warna merah, all the red colors, okay, and the green colors. Itu semua kau section line. So say because I want to differentiate for you so so that you can see the different. Say about one line ah. But for you, for your drawing, make sure it just a thin line. Gunakan garisan yang halus. Garisan yang halus so that we know we can differentiate. But lukisan yang sebenar, you can do the ellipse drawing ataupun lukisan yang sebenar at the end of the day aku kena pekatkan. Okay. So sometimes some things yang saya tengok pelajar selalu buat silap ialah bila dia draw dia suka yang ni bila dia buat uh, the curve dia suka buat macam ah macam tu macam tu ah macam banyak-banyak macam melukis lah that is not very nice okay itu mencomotkan lagi awak punya drawing it will make you quite accurate tapi tak accurate that's why I prefer for you to use french curve but in case you don't have one you can use your free hand but do not spend too much on the drawing make us uh, overlapping lines yang tak yang tak betul so what can you do you just you can just use a uh, garisan yang halus Okay, buat garisan halus sikit. Uh, buatlah sikit. Point sini, point sini, point sini. Okay, yang sini kan boleh. Kemudian you pekatkan dia. Okay, dengan warna hitam ke. Uh, sorry, dengan garisan yang lebih pekat. You tekan sikit and then you sambungkan. Okay, so dia ada teknik lah. Itu dekat pemarkahan pe, uh, kekemasan dan uh, technicality. Uh, okay, so that is for ellipse tegak. Now, let me show you ellipse melintang. So, the step... Okay, the step up to the draw up to draw the circle major circle minor circle masih sama dan draw kan dia punya 30 degree line ni masih sama sama saja so again the different kat mana dekat sini tadi saya buat ellipse tegak now tengok ellipse melintang so ellipse melintang garis melintang garis melintang kat mana dekat bulatan kecil so you go to the small circle okay buat garisan melintang but before that just mark untuk bantu awak nampak Markkan awak punya major and minor axis. Okay. Markkan major minor axis. So, ini melintang kan? So, this will be your major. And this will be your minor. Tolong jangan confuse eh. 
Right, so kita nak buat yang macam ni. Bintang. So minor yang lebar dia lah. Okay, yang lebar dia ni, yang panjang ialah major. Okay. So, use your ruler and refer kepada bulatan kecil. Intersection dekat bulatan kecil. The intersection at on the small circle. And create a garisan melintang. So, I'm going to use, uh, let's try blue color. So, kecil sikit. Eh, lagi kecil. Kita buat jom. So, buat je lebih. Ha, kalau malam-malam saya buat, saya buat macam ni pun tak apa. Okay, melintang kan. So, anything lah boleh je sampai sini. Okay. Buat lebih pun tak apa. But make sure it cross the intersection with the small circle. And the 30 and 60 degree line. And yang small eh. Jangan tengok, jangan salah tengok yang besar pula. Yang besar lepas ni. Okay. Now. So kalau garisan bulatan kecil uh, melintang. Bulatan besar, uh, bulatan besar akan menegak. So refer to your big circle. Abaikan yang lain ni. Tengok yang big circle. So intersect kat sini. So just draw the line. Okay. Sampai dia intersect yang sini. Dan dia intersect yang sini. Same goes. Ya, yeah. tambah besar, tambah besar. The big, the big circle. Don't forget your, your aim. <laughs> okay, bertemu dengan ini, bertemu dengan ini. And the other side as well. Big circle. Okay, saya buat ini dulu. Tak apa kena eh. Okay, let's try this. Yup, yup. And bawah tambah besar yang satu lagi. Section kalau tambah besar. There. And there. Now, mark the intersection. Saya markkan, so this one. Mark sini. Mark sini. Mark this one. Mark this one. Mark this one. This guy as well. And this part. Oh, sorry. Alright, so that's, that's, we have to really be careful. Okay, alright. That's my mistake. Alright. So now you can draw your ellipse. Oh, oh, oh. That's to Saya buat sikit-sikit lah eh. Okay, don't do like this but. But I'm using, I'm doing this because I'm using software. So let's change sikit lah. But you can see. This, oh. This will be your ellipse. Yang melintang. So, voila, your ellipse. Okay. So, again, I would like to remind you. Okay, when you are drawing your ellipse. Okay, tengoklah. Kadang-kadang ellipse tu tak penuh pun. Soalan minta macam ni. So, okay, buat ellipse. Okay. Macam dalam soalan kita tadi tu, kita buat ellipse. So, you know lah, this one is the minor. And this, the tall one, the higher one, the, long, the longer one is your minor, your major. Okay. So, tengoklah macam mana buat. Sebab so, the, the concept is the same. Draw uh, your minor circle, your major circle. Buat garisan. Pecahan ini, 30 and 60. And then, tengok. Ellipse tegak ke? Ellipse melintang. So, dekat bulatan kecil, create garis tegak. Bulatan besar, garis melintang. Okay, so this not here. Okay, so this is the, the other part. So, the next part in this video, and the next video, saya akan tunjukkan pula cara nak buatkan beberapa poligon menggunakan uh, kaedah kompasus. I mean, kaedah geometri. Okay? And then, baru kita akan buat soalan yang tadi tu. Okay. See you.